Bots video time for my old buddy Tom. Oh yeah, we gonna talk about U.S. silver dollars and why I said what I done said. Hey, Eva, it's gonna tell you what's up. Why well, go grab some educational material for your viewing pleasure? What is a good price for U.S. silver dollars? I say a cold out slick shouldn't cost any more than twenty dollars, unless it's like a key date, you know, Carson City, something nice. And even then, but yeah, I, I can understand that. You're you need a uh, filler coin for your collection. You're going to pay a little money for that. But if you got a common date Morgan or a common date peace dollar, all right, and it's cold out, it's looking like this right here. Let me see if I got anything even like that. Something beat up here. Hold on. Sure, I do. Oh, here we go. Right here. Here we go. This is a perfect example. You got something like this. Okay. Well, I'm not going to pay any more than $20 for it. I'm not even going to pay $20 for it, but that's just me. But I understand why people do. I, I, If you pay $20 for this coin, I would not be mad at you right now. With, uh, But I will say that... Now, you can get them under pound, though, if they're real slicks. Um, that's a different discussion. I'm going to say it like this. Now is not the time to be buying Morgan dollars if you're looking for silver weight. This ain't the time. The time to buy it was, I don't know, all your life leading up to now. Because this this ain't it. I mean, my goodness, guys. The premiums on junk silver, especially silver dollars, have gone up. I've never seen anything like it. And quite honestly, I don't understand it because silver dollars didn't suddenly get rare. They didn't suddenly become uh, impossible to find. This this is a myth. This is a myth. They made millions of these. Look, man. Look. This, this used to be all day, guys. You know, that's got dinged rim. It's beat up. Right? 1587. Right? That's how it was done. That's how it was done. You know what I'm saying? Same thing here. This one's crossed out. Got yeah. This is a call. Right? 15A so it, you know it could be a little over melt, but it didn't need to be a lot over melt. You know. Um now I will say if it's a nicer coin, you know, it's something nice. You can pay a premium on something like this, right? You get a nicer coin. 25 bucks is that's that's perfectly fair. That is a perfectly fair price. I would even say if you paid 30 bucks for this coin. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. That's fine. But don't show me a coal and tell me that's worth 30 bucks. It ain't. It's not. I'm not gonna pay it. You know, someone else might pay it. I ain't the one, okay? But I wanted to show you real quick. I want to be only negative here. I'm not a negative Nancy. I'm a positive Nancy. <laughs> I want to show you what you could get 
instead of Morgan Dollars and save yourself some money. Now, I'm saying if if you're looking for silverweight, I'm not talking about, you know, collector items. You know, that's a totally different game. If you're buying these silver dollars for silverweight, you don't want to be paying 50, 60% premiums on the coin. It doesn't make sense. They're not that rare. Okay. Now, if you got a key date, like I said, there are, with this stuff, there's lots of exceptions. Okay. You get a coin, you think it's the, the best one there is. Okay. Mint State 68 or something. Right. Well, yeah. If you, I mean, if you got that kind of eye that you can tell it's a Mint State 68 special super deluxe uh, premium fucking cam XRT472 with the red sticker and whatever, right? Get it, get it, go get it, go get it, send it in, get it graded, get that money, baby. I ain't mad at you, okay? But if you're gonna sit here and tell me, okay. I'm going to show you guys something here. Okay. This is a $20 coin. Okay. It's a $20 coin. Look at that. That's got a rim ding. I don't even know. I, I think I overpaid the 20 Honestly. Common date piece dollar. I overpaid for this coin. I overpaid. I did. I overpaid. I'm going to show you why. Because if you're patient and you wait. Okay. Show you also. I bought this from one of the big dealers. Okay, so th this isn't me just making sh stuff up. I bought this from the big dealer. I bought a whole freaking roll of these piece dollars for about 13 bucks each. Okay, this was when silver dropped at the beginning of 2020. Okay, um. It's all about timing these things. Now, I, I don't know what happened during COVID, but apparently everybody lost the damn mind and all of a sudden silver dollars were the thing to buy. But where are they at? Oh, where to put them damn things? I got a whole bunch of peace dollars at about 12 or 13 bucks each. But, uh... Let's not be in with the others. They're in a separate pile. Dang it. <laughs> Let me find these things. I'm telling you, I, I did buy them. I'm not making this up. I did a video about it when I bought them. So you can check that out. Oh, where are you at, Peace Dollars? Where are you at? Peace Dollars. Okay, no. Oh, there we go. There's, I think that's, is, are you one of them? No, you are not. You are a peace dollar. Though. Well, dang it, now I gotta go find it. Thanks. Hold that thought. Um, I will say this, though. I really do recommend the uh, commemorative silver dollars. Um, you can literally find these under melt if you hunt. Um, a lot of people don't know what they are. A lot of people don't like them. So, uh, if you're looking for silverweight, again, the, you know, all this is contingent on you're looking for silverweight in the silver dollar realm, which, quite frankly, I don't recommend. Silver dollars aren't where it's at as far as silverweight, unless you get a deal. Hold that thought, though. I got to find these peace dollars. Oh, anyway, for the life of me, I cannot find those peace dollars. Uh, they're somewhere in a bag or a roll or somewhere. Off-site, I would imagine. Um, I've shown them on other videos, so I paid twelve or thirteen bucks a piece, um, and that was just in twenty twenty. So the point is, be careful buying silver dollars. Um, and if you were sitting on some, if you were buying them before they got really popular. You might think about selling them, and I'm not giving financial advice. I don't normally even recommend selling. Uh, at this time, if you're sitting on 
uh, silver dollars that are, you know, Morgan's piece, uh, any of this stuff. They're really hot right now. And you can really increase your uh, silver stack. If you're a stacker by selling off these coins, I mean, people are paying $30 for cold. I don't understand it. Um, maybe I'm just old fashioned. I'm, I'm not with the times, but to me, um, if you're, like I said, if you're wanting silver weight, these, these commemorative dollars, people hate these things. It's the same exact silver weight as a Morgan. Uh, it's not as cool as a Morgan. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying if you're looking for silver weight, you know, you could do a lot worse than a commemorative dollar. Um, cheap Morgans will be back. They made millions of them, guys. Uh, like I said, unless you're talking about a really nice coin in excellent condition, most of them are mint state, by the way. That's another big misunderstanding about Morgans. Everybody thinks that they were circulated heavily. They weren't. They really weren't. Most silver dollars sat in the bank in rolls. That's a fact. Or bags. Actually, bags for the Morgans mostly, but most of them never circulated. There's more mint state Morgan dollars than not, I would imagine. And I, I'm not sure about that, but it's really, there's a lot of mint state Morgans. That's what I'll say. Same thing with peace dollars. Um, you got to realize how much things cost back then. A dollar? I mean, that was, that was a significant amount of money. That, that was a steak dinner. So, how many people do you think were buying steak dinners in the 20s after, say, the stock market crashed? Or Right? You see where I'm going with this? Now, people did use them. They did use them. But they didn't use them like we think they do. A lot of them sat at banks. Okay? They never saw... Uh, hand, a human hand never once a lot of them were melted in 1920 yeah see there you go a lot of them were melted yeah the irony being that a lot of Morgans were melted to make Morgan dollars <laughs> yeah a lot of Morgans were melted old Morgans to make 1921 Morgans. That's a fact. Look it up. Guys, thanks for watching. This has been a response to Tom's Coins. Um, I just wanted to let you know, yeah, a Cole Morgan is not worth 30 bucks to me. Now, if you want to pay that kind of money for that kind of thing, by all means. Uh, matter of fact, uh, man, I, I just don't know, man. I, I've, never, I've never seen the premiums this high. And you know what? You buy what you want to buy at whatever price you want. I'm just saying, I'm cautioning you. These coins have been much cheaper in the past. They will be much cheaper again. That's my prediction. I don't understand the hype. There are millions of these coins. Millions. And like I said, I'm not talking about key dates. I'm not talking about rarer coins. I'm not talking about Carson City here. I'm talking about uh, Common Date Morgan. Cole. Yeah, I wouldn't even pay 20 bucks for one. I honestly would. That's like my top. $20, and that's, wow, that's just really, you know, until silver gets a little higher. Now, there's a case to be made, um, and I've, I've been through it, because I, I was around for 2012. These coins, these coals and stuff, they get cheaper as the price of silver goes up. And, well, I mean relative to the price of silver. I don't mean actually cheaper. So... As a total percentage of silver price, all of a sudden, you don't care that it's a Morgan. You just want a hunk of silver when silver hits like $35 an ounce. I, the premiums go down. That's what I'm telling you. As the silver price goes up, the premiums actually go down on this kind of stuff, in my experience. You might see something different on this next run, so I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you. Back when silver was 40 bucks an ounce, I was able to buy uh, 
silver dollars and such very near melt. That's what I'm saying. Very near melt. Much nearer to melt than they are now. Okay? I don't know if that'll hold true if silver goes up again, but I think it will. I really do, because people aren't going to care about a cold Morgan. They're going to care about how many ounces of silver can I get. So they're going to shift their priorities. I don't know what the obsession with silver dollars is. Like I said, again, not talking about key dates, not talking about numismatic pieces. I'm just talking about common date, regular run-of-the-mill Morgans that ain't special. There's nothing special about them. Millions were made. Most of them are in mint condition. You're buying a coal. And you're paying a premium for it. I don't get it, but that's not me. All right, peace out.